in today's video we're checking out and max out the new season 3 battle pass if you do want to enjoy the video make sure to of course like and subscribe and i will be giving you a gameplay of the new smg the tech 9 so if you don't my tech 9 loadout then make sure to of course stay tuned in for that and let's get into the video next day shot goes to phoenix gaming they have 695 subscribers at the time recording this video and yeah they do many skins related content so if you do go over and enjoy their videos then make sure to of course like the videos you do enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the channel in general of course i'll be down below in the description and up on the screen here make sure to go over be supportive believe in any supportive comments on how they can improve their videos and be positive believe in the positive comments what you enjoyed about that video so yeah make sure to go over be positive be supportive and let's get into the video That's like a decent one. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we are in the battle pass. As you can see, since I brought it, um, it is. Um, yeah, I have ranked up to level. I was actually level 25, but I had to get to level 21, so I could show you off, of course, the uh, the tech nine. So yeah, let's get in. Let's get in and review some of these skins, then, shall we? Uh, so we have the Ethan uh, Grizzled Detective. Decent skin, actually. I do like it. Ethan, the kind of like a robot in a suit's really, really cool. Um, I'm going to give it a six out of ten. Yeah, I really do like this one. Really cool. Then we have the M13 Chrome Cruiser. Kind of gives me old school car vibes. Uh, like 90. Yeah, 19. I think it's probably 1980s, I don't know. Um, kind of car, kind of diner vibes, I would say. Um, not as quite as metallic or like, as, like shiny as I thought it might be. But still quite a nice one. There's got some just decent gym actually changes to it as well. Uh, so 6. A uh, 6.5 out of 10. Decent, decent. Then we have the Dingo or Deco Ornate. Decent, decent. Not too much animation to this one, so it's quite a boring one to be 100 honest with you. The gold's quite nice, so uh, 4.5 out of 10. Here is the Silver Deadly Ice Cream. I like this skin, probably the best catch skin in the whole thing. Uh, yeah, pretty decent. Uh, 6. A 7 out of 10, 7.5 out of 10, really, really nice. I do like it. Yeah, decent skin. We have the, um, yeah, this, uh, whatever this is. Here's the emote. Safe cracker. Cool. Then of course the uh, let's go for the Razorback first. It's a decent one. I do like it. What's it called? What's it called? It's the uh, the Razorback Meta Metro for Metropolitan Metropolitan. Yeah, it's a decent one. It's got like a nice wood kind of a bit more of a sleek fancy design to it. Oh yeah, it's a very interesting interesting weapon. Uh, six. Uh, 6 out of 10 again, I would say, yeah, definitely. Here is the Seraph Gold Deco. Yeah, there aren't any other skins after that, so yeah, Seraph Gold Deco. Kind of goes with the Dingo, I would say. Although I would say this one's definitely better than the Dingo. It's going to give it a 5 out of 10. Uh, it's, no, 6 out of 10. I do like this the kind of skin. It's got some nice, nice colours to it. And the colours aren't too bright, but they aren't like, not very bright at all. So yeah, then we have the HDR Juniper Line Express. I'm assuming it's themed after a uh, a train. So yeah, it's quite nice. It's got some. It's quite basic, but quite nice. Uh, let's have a make a five out of ten. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Here 
Here's the backpack if you care about that. Light backpack. Expeditioners like light backpack. Then finally we have the Tech 9 the Classic. A bit of a boring skin to be honest. Uh, it's definitely it's got uh yeah, it's different obviously, but uh, it's, yeah, I would say it's a bit boring. Uh, a bit bland. Uh, maybe if you stick a a thingy on it, a uh, camo on it, it might be a bit better. But other than that, yeah, uh, three out of ten. And of course, we have the Sims Mafioso. Mafioso. It's all right, skin. A bit of a boring one, a bit more of a realistic one, I'd say. Uh, so yeah, gonna give it a, uh, a six out of ten from me. Ah uh, yeah, uh, not the best, honestly. So I would say overall, the uh, the best character skin is probably the silver skin. Let's have a look. Where is it? All the way back in the start. This one. And the best might be best gun skin might be the M13 Chrome Cruiser, honestly. So yeah, overall, so this a battle pass. Um, yeah, this battle pass, um, a bit better than the ones we had previously, but uh, it's not not one of the ultimate best ones. So yeah, now of course let's get into the uh, the battle pass vault. See what battle which battle pass they decided to recently pre-release in the battle pass vault. Okay, so here we are in the battle pass vault, and we did got the train to nowhere one to this time. So we have the misty undercover agent. Of course, as you know, I already have all of these skins. Um, decent, decent, decent. Uh, six out of ten. I do like this skin. It's quite a nice one, I would say. Yeah. And we have the M4 uh, Price of Time. It's not right. Kind of a bit more like more, more of a classic kind of skin. Um, yeah, it's got nothing nice detail on it though. So seven, uh, six point five out of ten, I would say. Yeah, definitely a decent M4 skin. And nothing, not not compared to some M4 skins. I still really do like it. Yeah. Overall, let's go 5.5 out of 10 actually. No, 6 out of 10. No, yeah, 6 out of 10 will go. Yeah, pretty decent. Then we have. What is this? Is this a spray possibly? No, it's a backpack. It's an alright backpack. Yeah. Then we have the TBR Aqua Leviathan. This was one of my go to. One of, well, this was one of my go to. Um, CBR skins back in the day. So yeah, it's a decent skin. Almost looks like a water gun of sorts. But yeah, I I really do like it. The geometric changes are quite nice. And of course, it's not too detailed. Uh, just mainly a solid blue colour. But still, uh, it's going to get a 5 out of 10 from me. Then we have the Seraph Double Agent. A bit more detail on this one. Uh, not too much bright colour though, so it's going to get a 5 out of 10. But yeah, quite a nice one, I would say. Yeah, overall decent, decent. Then we have, uh, here is a charm, shoot to kill. A frame if you care about that. Then we have the S36 webbed stinger. This is actually one of my go-to uh, M13 skins. It's a bit, it's got some decent colour on it. Of course it's got that bug on the, on the very front. Oh yeah, it's, it's not too colourful, but it's not too, it doesn't stand out too much, but it's still pretty decent, I would say. Oh yeah, 6 out of 7, it's, no, 5.5 out of 10, it's alright, it's alright. Yeah, not the best, but not the worst, I would say. Yeah, 5.5 out of 10. Then we have this, uh, the Vanguard Nocturnal Elite. Uh, it's all right. Bit of a boring skin, honestly. Bit more of a realistic one. Uh, 3 out of 10. Not really my kind of skin, honestly. Not really kind of my, my kind of style. Uh, yeah, definitely one that I would uh, I would not be uh, wanting. It is. It's a balloon escape. Oh, this was this was quite a popular one, I believe. Especially, I, I, I know a lot. If about around, I know a lot of bots do it. It's all right. Uh, not really one of my favourites. Four out of ten, honestly. Uh, not one I would ever use, um, unless for a very specific reason. And we have the. M13 Covert Canopy, one of my favourite M13 skins, and if they have a Mythic and a Legendary for it, then I would definitely use this. It's obviously themed after an umbrella, it's really really nice, and it's got a nice pay to win iron sight as well. Highly recommend checking this one out if you haven't already. Uh, yeah, super worth super worth checking out I would say. Uh, yeah, 7 out of 10 skin, probably the best 
John skin in this in, in this battle pass vault honestly. And it's literally better if you put a camo on it. And then we have the Adler Dapper skin. A bit of a basic one honestly. A uh, just just in a suit. Uh, 5.5 out of 10. Not too not 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 too anything, too much special in this one honestly. And then finally we had the uh, the ZRG. Uh, is it what's it called? The ZRG Jade. Uh, I've actually seen this one. It's quite pay to lose, uh, so they're, they're maybe not the best one to have, or even use. Sorry, it's, it's, it's a decent look, looking skin, uh, but of course it's they've got a bulk, really bulky scope, so it's um, very much pay to lose, I would say. Uh, so yeah, but maybe not one you'd want to um, use uh, or test out. So overall, like I said, I would actually say the the M13 cover canopy is the best um, normal skin um, and gun skin, and maybe the Misty is the best character skin in, in this one but yeah overall it's a decent one and uh, not again again not one of my favorites but definitely one that is worth checking out especially for like pay to win m13 skin uh, so yeah definitely definitely a really nice one i would say yeah overall pretty decent i would say so yeah and finally last but not least we have the ground forces uh skins so this is the uh the garcia hat hatch hatchet man uh, quite a clean one, quite a smooth one. It's, uh, it's uh, if, if there wasn't any blood stains on it, it would be uh, be a better one. But yeah, definitely overall a really nice one. Uh, six out of uh, six out of ten. Yeah, I do like it. It's probably one of the better battle pass vault um, character skins. Then we have the AK17 Vintage on uh, Vintage Vintage Roadster. It's all right. Not too much. Not too much decent on this one. The red's quite nice actually, uh, and the, and the, it goes well with kind of like a goldy bronze color. Because uh, it's a darker red, of course. So yeah, six out, uh, five, five out of ten. I would have liked a bit more animation on it, honestly. And then finally, here is the um, backpack. All right, all right. Not, not, nothing too special again. Uh, so yeah. Now let's get into, of course, my gameplay with my first ever gameplay with the Tech Nine. Okay, so here is the Tech 9 build I was using in the gameplay. As you can see, it only increases the fire rate, but that didn't feel too bad. And the movement is also pretty well increased as well, I would say. I uh, said so this is definitely more of an aggressive build. Um, next time I do a video on it, I might actually try out the uh, the Burst 5 uh, version of it. So yeah, we have, the, of course, the fully auto repeater for the minus 30% fire interval. We have the 1.1 task force bar for the increase the body part multipliers. Plus and plus 80% bullet speed. We have the Duster Stock for the plus 3% sprint speed. We have the Airborne Elastic Wrap for the minus 30% ADS time and minus 90% hit flinch. And finally, we have the Fast Extender Mag for the plus 15% mag capacity, for plus 15 mag capacity and minus 20%, 25% reload time. <laughs> 